Yo, man, this kid, Cooper DeGene, is an athlete. I can honestly say I understand why the Philadelphia Eagles are interested in this prospect. During this video, we're going to talk about why that could be the case. This guy can do it all. Let's get into it. Yo, 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 man, this Cooper DeGene, you know, all-purpose defensive player uh, from Iowa, this kid is nasty, in my opinion, man. There's a lot of knocks on this guy, but, you know, the injury history. He just uh, sent out a message yesterday, I believe, to all teams in the NFL saying he is clear to be looked at. He is clear and ready to go. Um, no physical limitations. I think it was uh, a ruptured uh, tibia, a broken leg or something. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I think it was something on the lines of a broken leg that, you know, um, had a lot of people kind of iffy on him. Now, listen. I'm not opposed to drafting anybody with an injury history like that. If it's a broken leg, you know, bones tend to heal back faster, you know. But, you know, if it's like an ACL or something like that, even with modern medicine in today's game, those things don't se seem to be a hindrance for most players either. But this kid, man, you know, when you look at, you know, um, drafting Landon Dickerson last year, he's had multiple knee issues before we brought him in. You know, the Philadelphia Eagles have taken some chances on guys that's been hurt. You know, we've just given a big pay to Saquon Barkley and who some people may think for some strange reason you know injury is a concern for him um what are, what are the knocks on Cooper DeGene I just I just can't wrap my mind around why people are iffy on this guy I think that he is a first round talent you know, when you look at some of these clips, you see the hip fluidity. You see him getting out of his brakes. You see the change of direction, man. This guy is an absolute technician. You know, good, smart feet, strong. I really, really like Cooper DeGene. You know, this guy can play, you know, uh, safety. Now, now, the reason why a lot of people think that Cooper DeGene could play safety is because in Iowa's defense, he lined up at the depth of a safety a lot and still was able to pick up his man, what, 10 yards, you know, beyond a line of scrimmage in a man to man situation from a cornerback spot. Um, he can line up in a slot. He can line up outside. You know, some of his numbers on the outside are just crazy. And I think people are literally sleeping on this guy, man. I don't know what it is, but let's go into some of the numbers from uh, Cooper DeGene, man. Let's talk about it, man. Um, it's an interesting look into Cooper DeGene's usage, usage at Iowa. Uh, while he while he primarily played outside corner, DeGene showcased his versatility at times as well. Outside cornerback, man, 1,191 snaps, slot 163, box safety 116, edge defender on a line of scrimmage 58, and deep safety he has a snap there. That's uh, and, and 841 career coverage snaps. I, I mean, we're sleeping big time, y'all. We, we're sleeping big time on this guy. You know, um, those are elite coverage numbers, man. DeGene is also a reliable tackler with just eight missed tackles and 1,530 total defensive snaps in his career at Iowa. Let's not forget about his all-pro potential as a punt returner, which is an added bonus. DeGene is the total package at defensive back in today's NFL, and I think the Philadelphia Eagles are looking for somewhat of a Swiss Army knife like Cooper DeGene to come out here and take the reins, you know, and, and you know, a chess piece, so to speak. You know, um, let's get into some of the film and some of the things that I think Cooper DeGene does really, really well and why I think he's a great fit for the Philadelphia Eagles. I know, I know it's not the popular pick, but you can't argue with good football players, man. I don't care what you think about him personally, but this dude is an athlete, man. You know, the, the change of direction, it speaks for itself in the film while he's working out here in these drills. The, 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 the ability to switch, you know, positions. You know, nice fluid hips. You know, these things are all the tell signs of a guy that can break. Look at his nice like coming out of it, you know, just just a burst. And this is coming off injury, man. This is coming off injury. I like the change of direction, man. I like everything that I see, man. I like I, I like Cooper DeGene. You know, and the footwork, just just a just a look at that break. Just a tactical technician that he is. You know what I mean? We've been missing this. And the defense is back room for a real long time. And, and Knox, that he can't play outside. I mean, he could do it all. This is what people don't understand. And you go right here, outside rep, Cooper DeGene. And, you know, right here on this play alone shows, look at the bounce in the hips. It shows, you you know, and the things in the drills translate, you know, it translates in, in the film. Strong at the point of, uh, you know, of, of contact, the ability to stay with his man. A lot of these are against Penn State. You know, look at the bouncing hips again. Look, right with his man. You know, always where he's supposed to be. 
You know what I'm saying? All outside reps. All outside reps. You want him to press, you know, stand with his man. I like Cooper DeGene. You know, they, and he, he also uses the sideline really, really well when he's on the outside. You know, now in and, and this game, anybody can be beat. Let's make no mistake about it. But, you know, how do you respond to being beat? You know, do you give up? What do you do in these circumstances when you beat? You know, Cooper DeGene is one of those guys that, you know, look, a rep from the slot. Love it. I love it, man. He could play all over the field, man. He's one of those chess piece guys. I mean, I could see, like, the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know what I'm saying, drafting this guy and using him as a chess piece similar to the way they use Kyle Hamilton. I think he was beat on his rep right here, but stride for stride. You know what I mean? That's a good catch, good throw. You know what I mean? Pressing, you know, still going on during the course of the game, though. You know, tightening up now. You get me once, I'm not going to let that be a habit. You know what I mean? You need guys with that mindset in today's game because, you know, wide receivers are good in the NFL. He's on this guy like white on rice now. White on rice after getting beat. You know what I mean? Outside reps again. The guy seems to be bigger than him, but that doesn't matter to Cooper DeGene. Doesn't matter. Stride for stride. Incomplete pass. Great defense. No flag on the play. You know what I mean? Pressing up right in his man face on the outside. Look, you go nowhere. You go nowhere. You're not even an option. You're not even an option. You know, Cooper DeGene again. Nice bounce on the hips. You go nowhere. I'm on you like white on rice from the slot again. You know what I mean? I love this kid, man. I don't understand why people, uh, what's the big deal? It's a football player, man. Ain't we here to play football? I love what I'm seeing from him.